what's the word everybody on youtube my name is mia b and welcome back to my channel if you're new here subscribe like and comment in that order today's video as y'all can see by the title is a story time and i'm not even gonna talk about it but i'm gonna talk about it and i'm gonna get on into this story thank you so much for coming back continue to keep me and my family in your prayers if you heard about my grandmother's passing continue to keep us in y'all prayers so let me just get on into this story so this story happened in about 2017 maybe the beginning of 2018 if y'all didn't know i graduated high school in 2016 st louis missouri and i came to mississippi after the first year of going to Ole Miss, I realized that out-of-state tuition was crazy. And long story short, we're not even going to get into the story of how I got talked into it because that's a whole nother story. But I ended up joining the military, Army, National Guard. But even if you're a part of the National Guard, you got to go through the basic training and you got to go through the job training. This happened in my job training. Mind you, I was 20 years old. I be talking too much. Let's get on to this story. So while I was in the military, I had two roommates. I had one, we'll call her Holly. That's my dog for sure. I still need to call her and FaceTime her. We'll call my other roommate, Anna. Anna, yeah. Well, so it's Holly and it's Anna. During this time, when you go to job training, you get random roommates. So we didn't really know each other like that. But wherever I'm going to go, I'm going to turn up. And again, the Lord is working on me and working with me because you don't have to have substances and alcohol to turn up. So a lot of people don't know how the military works. In job training, I was in a six-month job training. We called it AIT. I, was, I had a crazy job and I was learning how to do it. So I was at the job training with all the people who had to be there for an extended period of time. Usually job trainings be a month, two months, three months. No, mine was six. Yes, we were comfortable in that mug. It was like, okay, it's not the regular basic training, like not as strict, but you're still under the military's guidelines of doing stuff you're literally still being told when to wake up when you can eat um you get to go off base if you earn that privilege and during that time really people just want to turn up people just want to find a way to escape reality because there's no way to escape it you're getting up at 5 a.m you're going to pt you're running you're doing push-ups sit-ups you're getting yelled at then you go you get ready you gotta be ready to go to breakfast right breakfast child then after you go to breakfast child you gotta be ready to go to school you in school for literally nine hours throughout the day and then you get to go back home or back to your barracks and then you get your little free time for like three hours before you have formation and bedtime. Like this was way less strict than basic training, but this was still strict. I'm just prefacing my shenanigans with Anna and Holly. Like, so at a certain period of time, we was just like, bro, it's a way to turn up and we're going to figure it out. And that's what we did. During this time, Anna, Anna, I don't know what I'm calling her, but Anna or Anna, if I'm saying either one of them, you know who it is. So Anna, during this time, was getting married. Like, she had a fiancé. When you, or was she married? She probably was married already. But during job training, if you have a spouse, and especially during my extended job training if you have a spouse you get to live with that spouse or that spouse could live with you that spouse could move in with you and and y'all could literally have a house on base that they paid for it was pretty lit it was pretty lit i almost got married <laughs> anna was married or she was going off base literally to get you could get you could get signed out and everything during job training like i said it was pretty cool but it wasn't cool because it was still the military. They were still on you. They were still tracking you. And we had like three phases, white, yellow, and orange. And only the orange phase people could go off base unless you had a spouse. So Anna had a spouse. Somebody asked Anna to get some alcohol when she went off base or 
when she left to go with her spouse for the day. You literally could get signed out every single day. Let me rewind because I don't think I said that. You could get signed out every single day by your spouse before they officially moved in together. Like it's a whole process. So she was getting signed out every single day and she would leave every day and she would come back. It was so normal that the drill sergeants wasn't really paying attention they just started like the drill sergeants platoon sergeants they just started like it was normal they just signed her paper she just going she just coming in hey anna like yeah go through come back like it became normal so she used to have a book bag it became so normal they stopped checking her book bag so you would think you learn from other people's mistakes when you see them but you don't you gotta go through it yourself to learn anything clearly obviously because we were just slow with this so we had heard that another company if you don't know about the military this is going to be so confusing to you but there's companies like it's like a big old school like a boarding school if you will like and then there's like different groups of people based on what your job was and when you came so it's a lot going on but just know a different group of people had had inspections like weeks prior or days prior and they had got caught they had all the alcohol lined up on the sidewalk outside like it was so much alcohol people was hiding in their like barracks in their wall lockers in their bunks like under their beds they was hiding it so weeks had passed months had gone by holly anna and i was like hey we could get some alcohol but we gonna be smart about it this time we had stood on the bed one day and we checking we checking we checking we checking we realized that the panels in the ceiling they pop up so i'm like when we get the alcohol we could just put it in the ceiling they like yeah we just put it in the ceiling and then if they literally check our bags for whatever reason if they check our room for whatever reason they're gonna literally have to get on the bed and check the ceiling and if they search that hard and find it they deserve it okay we deserve to get in trouble holly was 23 i remember she turned 23 the may we was there and i'm pretty sure we had already gotten trouble and everything by may so she was probably 22 years old at this time i was 20 it's crazy i thought she was so old and now i'm 25 and i'm like and then anna was younger than holly but older than me so maybe like 21 years old or maybe fresh 22 and then holly was finna turn 23 i don't know but we were all well i was the only one who wasn't of age but i was almost there they were of age so it was nothing for anna to go get the alcohol and come back that's what we decided to do she like what y'all want at this time i'm going hard i need to escape my cares of the world i done joined the military i'm just trying to put y'all in my mindset i joined the military <laughs> I don't this was not in my life's plan I'm realizing that I'm an adult and the stuff you plan in life doesn't go as planned so I'm realizing that and I need to escape the cares of my life so I say that hen dog yeah <laughs> henny thing is possible yes get that henny get that henny get that henny and I'm not even gonna stunt at first I think she was bringing it in flasks or not flask, little coffee mugs. That's what I think she was doing at first. She was bringing it in coffee mugs and we drinking it, we drinking it. Whether it was in coffee mugs or in the actual bottle, we started putting it in the ceiling until we realized nothing was happening. Like from the time the other platoon and other company had got caught and everything was lined up, months had passed, literal months. And we just put in our wall locker at this point. Our wall lockers, I think I have a picture or two. They were like three long closets and you had a lock on it so nobody steal from you one day as i said i i, I told i told anna i'm like yeah i'm trying to get a fifth of that hen dog yeah give me a fifth of it like the fifth like the long neck bottle yes give me a fifth of it we basically got comfortable doing that every weekend we had told her to bring a bottle back we put in money on it she bring the bottle back in her book bag they don't even suspect it because she always going in and out and she in the room and we turning up mind you on the weekends 
our regular like drill sergeants, platoon sergeants, our leaders, the people who actually lead us, the ones who know us and are responsible for us, they leave. They go, that's their break time. They get the weekends off. Like they go home, they off. They not worried about us. But because we're 24 hour, we're in a 24 hour training situation. They have like substitute teachers. It's like substitute platoon sergeants come in. It's literally like substitute teachers. You have like, you know, your cool substitute teachers. Then you have your uptight ones. Then you have your snitch ones. But most of them was cool because they was like just trying to get it over with and go. Like they trying to do their assignment, do their little duty assignment and go about their business. Like these are the sergeants who actually are stationed where I'm getting trained. It's like their actual station of where they work. So they have duties where they got to come in. So it's cool ones, it's mean ones, it's uptight ones, it's, it's ones who let you stay out later, it's ones, it's like cool ones, like, you know, you know, you know. They just know that she gets signed out, she go with her husband. Like, she tell them what's up, they sign her out, they go. So, she's still doing the same thing. It's like clockwork, coming in and out, coming in and out. So, basically, it's just going to be me and Holly. Anna going to be there sometimes. Her key main role is because she's the third roommate. She's mostly with her man, her man, her man, though. But she's the third roommate, and she's the supply for the alcohol. Without her, there will be no alcohol in our room so we would drink and then we would go to formation mind you formation would be cool because it would be the weekends and it'll be the random platoon sergeants or drill sergeants that they got coming as substitutes we're gonna call them substitute teachers so it was the random substitute teachers coming through we go out to, we turn in formation of course you gotta stand at parade rest you gotta stand at attention you know you gotta do what you supposed to do but we was turned for the most part me and holly would be dancing playing music yeah yeah whoa 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 starting off on nothing i was yeah we was doing that for weekends upon weekends upon weekends mind you we wasn't the only ones doing it like i said the other platoon had drinks upon drinks upon drinks lined up in their company so everybody was talking about it, scary scary about it but when the months had started passing and we had got comfortable ain't nobody even thinking about that i'm not even thinking about the ceiling no more i'm just keeping the fifth of henny in my wall locker i'm just keeping it in my wall locker we turning up when we turning up if i had a hard day i'm taking it to the head yeah, yeah like <laughs> i'm not proud of this it was people in other companies it was people in our company they like booking Airbnbs. This was in Georgia. My job training was in Georgia. Six months, I promise you. They booking Airbnbs, Airbnbs off base. They having every day inviting people from other companies, other platoons. They inviting everybody. And they having house parties like literally in the daytime because we got a certain formation time. But <laughs> turned up, drinks, all that. All, all sorts of stuff going on in them Airbnbs. Bringing a fifth of Henny ain't that bad when you think about it. Yeah, we comfortable. Now, this was probably like after a weekend, maybe like Monday morning. So this like when the drill sergeant, platoon sergeants, they start to come back. Well, they really start to come back Sunday night. And But sometimes you in your room by then, you already winding down or you washing clothes. You doing whatever you doing. So you don't even notice them starting to take their shifts and stuff and do what they do. Oh man, tomorrow's Monday. It starts the PT again. We got to wake up. We got to work out. We got to do this. We got to do that. It's so much to explain with the military, but I hope y'all following me. So the next morning come around, we leaving for PT. We in formation. We getting ready to work out. We in formation. One of the drill sergeants was like, Barnes, go in the building and get all of second shift. We'll call them second shift. Go in the building and get all the second shift and tell them to come outside and line up for formation. But there was a day shift and a night shift. We call them swingers. The swingers, I'm going to just call them second shift though. The swingers were the ones who basically worked overnight. Like, you couldn't choose that or nothing. You just got put into whatever group you got put into. Thank God I didn't go overnights because I would have been dying. But they go to class overnight. Their school's overnight. They go to lunch at like 2 a.m. They do everything we do in the daytime except at nighttime. So they will sleep. As we do formation, they be in their sleep. He told me to go in there and get second shift swingers, a.k.a. swingers. Go in there and get the second shift and tell them to come outside and get in formation. 
I didn't think. I was just excited to get out of formation. Me, Goofy, Mia, I'm just like, okay. And I run in there. I run in there. It's crazy because I actually went to the restroom in, in my room. I went to the restroom in my room. I just went. I ran back out and I knocked on everybody's door. Wake up, wake up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Come to formation, come to formation. Drill sergeant said, come to formation. Drill sergeant said, come to formation. They getting up. They like, what the heck? They come out, they come out. We all standing there in formation. It's quiet. It's quiet as a mug. We see our commander walk up. We see all the other drill sergeants walk up. And at this point, we know something is finna go on. And I'm like, oh, shoot, they finna go through our rooms. I don't know. Something just clicked in my head and said, they finna go through our rooms. That Henny bottle flashed in my head, I promise you. Because it's still in that wall locker, right? So they standing there. They standing there. We all standing there. They start reading off of a paper. Attention, Charlie Company. Da, 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 da. They just start reading it, right? Today, you are participating in a room search. You are will be required to open up your wall lockers, open up every drawer, every cabinet, open up bags. You are and they just going on reading off the list of what we trying to do. By this time, my stomach is at the tip. Here's my butthole. There's the there's my stomach. You see it? And if I would have released it, would have said and just would have went through like and during this time I would get nervous poops a lot. Like nervous pooping? Talk about nervous pooping. Oh, I would get nervous poops. If y'all ain't watched my story time about me pooping on my first date with my crush, go watch that story time. I'm like, oh no. And I look over. Holly got the same face as I got. And by this time, they done with they talking and we just talking quietly. I think they said at ease or something. So we just talking quietly in our platoon. And me and Holly talking and we just like, bro, we got to get in there somehow. And I'm just like, we have to figure out a way to get in there. I got to get in there and we got to get our stuff. And I'm like, I got the bottle in my wall locker. And she like, I got a coffee mug of alcohol in my wall locker. By this time, I think maybe, I don't know. Me and Holly was really focused on each other because at the end of the day, we don't know if Anna got anything in her locker or anything. But we just like, we got to figure it out. I said, okay, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to use the restroom. I'm going to do something. I'm going to figure it out. First of all, it's against the law for me because I'm only 20 years old. But it's like against the law. Like you do not, you, you get in big, bad trouble if you have food in your dang room alcohol they give us instructions on what to do they're like when we file y'all back on into the building stand by your door you and your roommate stand by your door nobody goes in nobody moves you stand outside the door until you're told otherwise now this wouldn't have been a bad thing because it's only so many of them and so many of us. It's probably like 10 drill sergeants, one commander, and all these doors y'all gotta watch. But the thing is, ask where my room was. Ask where me, Holly, and Anna room was. There's a front desk, right? And this is where you gotta walk in to check in, check out. My door, the first door by the front desk. The first door by the front desk. That's my door. So it wasn't no going in and out. That's the meeting point for all the drill sergeants, for all the commanders, sergeants, everybody who's there to do the inspections, to do the checks. They're standing by that door. And I'm sitting there like, I am so dumb. You stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Like, everybody always get caught when they get too comfortable. Like, if I would have just put that henny in the ceiling, I would be okay. But the way I think my thought process y'all know i force stuff y'all know i i ain't going down without a fight i ain't finna go down too easy now so i'm just like i got this i could get in there i could open my wall locker real quick pop the henny bottle out put it up in the ceiling and then we good to go i just gotta get on into this door so all the girls are gathering around their doors it's three people to a room for the most part it's two to a room somewhere but 
it's for the most part it's three to a room so we all three standing me holly and anna look like we done seen ghosts we sitting there like oh man and i'm just sitting there like i don't know what to do i got a whole fifth of henny in my wall locker mind you it was gone it probably was like a teeny weeny bit that's all i had going for me if they ever saw the bottle we had found out that anna even had a coffee mug in her wall locker with alcohol in it too so her and holly had the same thing going on i actually had the evidence there's no like guarantee they would open up the coffee mug and smell it or figure out what it was but everybody know what a henny bottle look like so we sitting there outside the door and i'm just like i could get in i could get in and i'm telling holly like i could get in and we got our eye light we peeking over looking at the desk and looking at all the drill sergeants, they ain't really stunning us. They really just trying to get their P's and Q's, like cross their T's, dot their I's, get everything together for this inspection they finna do. We get into our rooms with our cards and you like put it up to the door and then ding, it go like ding. And then you open it, it's kind of like a hotel door. We're sitting in front of our door at this point. I put my hand like this up to the, the, the thing, the reader to open the door. It opened. It, it lit up green and I like pushed the handle down. As soon as I did that, a drill sergeant start, start coming and I let go of the door and I'm just like, dang. I really could have did it, slid up in there and just been in there. And when, when they was like, where's Barnes at? Trying to figure out where I'm at. Could have just been hurrying up, doing what I had to do. And then when they asked where I was and maybe opened the door, I could have been in the bathroom. Like, man, my stomach hurt. Something. I could have did anything i know we finna be first like the time is ticking the walls are closing in i can't breathe i'm finna poop on myself i don't know what to do i'm panicking i'm like hey i'm finna get kicked out the military <laughs> my life ain't even started yet like the inspections start they come to our door first of course like i said we're the first ones even the ones lined up like it was like a hallway and it was doors all the way lined up even the door across from ours wasn't really across from it. It was further back. So ours was going to be first either way. It was two of them that came to the doors. It was the ones I don't like either. Maybe I could have convinced another drill sergeant or something. Like, please don't tell me you can have some. I could get you some. Like, what you want? Like, no. <laughs> These were two that wasn't going. So I'm just like, okay, what we finna do? We, they come in our room and they're like, stand by your wall lockers, soldiers. We stand by our wall lockers. They tell us to open our wall lockers. Holly, wall locker open. Anna, wall locker open. Then it's me. And I'm acting like I don't know the code. Bruh, when you open the wall locker on the top shelf, it's a fifth of Henny. What would you have done? I'm acting like I don't know that code. I'm putting in wrong combination, wrong combination after wrong combination. I'm like, I don't know what they finna do, but they ain't finna get in this wall locker. Wrong combination, wrong combination, wrong combination. One of the sergeants like, soldier, you don't know your code? Do I have to go get the bolt cutters? Bolt cutters? <laughs> bolt cutters? Yes. He said, do I need to go get the bolt cutters? I said, I guess so. And they like joking with me at this point, And I'm like nervous laughing because I'm just trying to play it off. I don't know this code, I don't know this combination, I don't know what you gonna do to get it up in this mug, but I ain't finna open it for you. So they joking, he excited to go get the bolt cutters. Like he was ready to get the bolt cutters, they get a little action, he gets to break the lock, they'll give me another lock if they need to. Like it ain't nothing to them. He just excited to go get the bolt cutters. That's how lame he was. He went, got the bolt cutters. As he walked away, the other sergeant is on the other side of the room and Anna got her wall locker open right so the door open he could barely see me so when dude walk out to go get the bolt cutters I'm like it's my chance open my wall locker for real get the bottle I don't know what I'm gonna do with the bottle at that point when I got it run out I don't know scream break it on the ground I don't know <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna be gone pew pew he walked out to go get them bolt cutters and I try to I try to put my code in why I never forgot it for real 13, 14, 6, uh, uh, oh, man. Uh, 14, 13, 8. Uh, uh, dang, I forgot it. I tried to put it in for real, for real, like six times. 
it was gone it was out my head i done put it in wrong so many times on top of me being so nervous i did not remember that combination at all next thing i know he coming back in with the bolt cutters talking about step out of the way soldier he break the lock with the bolt cutter and he opened up that wall locker that man opened up my wall locker they looked at me. They looked at the bottle. <laughs> they looked at me. They looked at the bottle. Whole time I'm just sitting there looking at the ground. They talking about private. Private. Oh, private. Like it's like they they realize it. They got confused. And then they felt sorry for me. It was like a little bit of sympathy in there. What's this? I said nothing. You still got some in it. I said it's empty. It's nothing in that. What is that? Now they got the bottle. They all happy that they found the bottle. They excited that they found the bottle. It started off with some action. They like, wow, this really how this finna go. So when they found that bottle, they look at Holly and they look at Anna. And they like, what y'all got in y'all's? They start looking through their wall locker. Mind you, they looking through my wall locker. They finding all sorts of stuff. Like, it's food. It's chip bags. It's, it's to-go containers. Like, it's so much in there. They're like, what is wrong with you? Like, and I'm just sitting there, like, shaking my head, not even really responding. They start going through Holly's stuff. They go through her st stuff, and they find the coffee mug in the back of her locker. They like, what is this? She ain't say nothing. They opened it up, smelled it. He took it to his partner, had him smell it. His partner, like they the police officers. He took it to his coworker, cause it's his coworker, the other sergeant. And then he smelled it. He like, oh, y'all was in here having a good time. So we not saying nothing. Me and Holly just looking at each other like, got to be more careful. All the times playing in my head where we had an opportunity to hide it, especially the time where he told me to go in and get everybody from the swinging shift from the second shift he told me to go wake them up and get them out a smart person would have said something is going on let me go get this alcohol bottle you gotta stay on your toes and put it in the ceiling i had the opportunity to do it and i didn't do it then they look at anna they going through her stuff going through her stuff her coffee mug right there they going through her stuff what you got in here soldier going through her stuff they move on from the wall lockers they never go through her coffee mug. They never sniff it. They never do nothing. They don't look at it. None of that. And me and Holly looking at each other like, hey, how the... It's like they didn't even want to... I'm not... Like I said, you either love me or you hate me, but adults are people in a position of authority. Yes, you might have to drop me one or ten times to do push-ups because I talk too much, I play too much, I giggle too much, I laugh too much. I'm distracting people around me, but I'm never a disrespectful person. I'm always going to work hard, so they always mess with me. So it was more like a... Me and Holly. It was more like a, dang, man. But they were still, like, on our butts at the end of the day about it. Where they messed up was... They went and they put the Henny bottle and they put the um coffee mug by each other on the sink. And I'm going to show y'all a picture of this too. So as y'all can see in that picture, it's like, if I lean forward, I can't see nothing because it's like, it's like blocked off kind of. And they put it right there, like right in the front. Mind you, they over by the beds, flipping our mattresses, acting a dang fool because they found one thing. They think they finna find a stash of 50 kiloes in the dang uh, uh in the duffel bag under my bed or something i don't know as they're doing that and their attention is somewhere else i'm like somebody gotta be saved they over here they over here occupied doing something else so i go and i scoop up the coffee mug i couldn't grab the henny bottle where am i gonna put that where am i gonna put a fifth of henny so i scoop up the coffee mug and i stuff it in my pt shorts mind you we was finna go work out so i had on like the army black shorts and the shorts have like built in shorts in it. So they got like some tight shorts. Then they got like the flimsy shorts. So I just stuffed it in that layer of the, of the tight shorts. Um, Holly looking at me like, what the heck the whole time? Like, are you tripping? If you don't put that back, I'm like, nah, bro. So I said, can I go to the restroom drill sergeant? And they like, yeah, take a battle buddy. I grab Holly. We go to the bathroom. 
And we sitting there talking in the bathroom like, we can't use our bathroom. They're not letting us use our single bathroom. So we go to the community bathroom and it got three stalls, whatever. We sitting there talking. We face to face and we like, bruh. And she like, bruh. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we finna get in so much trouble. She like, why did you take the coffee mug? I'm like, bro, one of us got to be saved. I don't know. They ain't finna. Hey, you got the actual liquid in here. I'm not finna allow them to have proof that we had the liquid of the alcohol. Like, I was thinking maybe I could lie my way out of it, say that wasn't Henny I'm trying to use. Like, mind you, you know, this was during a time where people using bottles to decorate everything. Like, they had the bouquets and the Henny bottle. Like, it was real cute. So, I'm like, I'm finna make up something. <laughs> I'm not going down without a fight. That's one thing about me. I am not going down without a fight. So, I put the coffee mug in my camelback. If y'all don't know what a camelback is, it's like a... Dang, I wonder, do I have mine somewhere? It's like your portable water source. The things they carry on their back and it's like skinny, it got water in it. It's like it had a case on it. It's not really a case, but that's what allows you to carry it on your back. Some people even hide snacks in their camel bag, like in between the water and the case. So I put it in there. I put it back on my back and I'm walking over there or whatever. I don't know if I realized or if Holly realized we both was like... Or maybe I was like, nah, they're going to check me. So I ran back in there. I put it back in between my pants. I put it in my pants and I'm asking her, like, can you see it? Can you see it? She's like, nah, I can't see it. And I'm like, what if I walk? Like, I'm trying to walk normally, but I have it in my pants, like, sideways. Like, here's my legs. Here's the, the coffee mug. But it's not that big. But, you know, it's in between my legs. So I'm trying to walk normal with it. We leave out. I'm trying to walk normal with it. As soon as we walk back up to the door... They're like, where is it? Where is it, soldier? Where is it, private? You got it in here? They like patting us down. Like, they for real, the police officer, they looking for some drugs or something. They patting us down. They like patting us down, patting us down. They tell us to take off our camel bags. They trying to take, check our camel bags. They like touching us, patting us. Where is it? Where's the coffee mug? Where's the alcohol in the coffee mug? Where's the coffee mug? Where's the coffee mug? Where's the coffee mug? I'm like, y'all are straight tripping. I don't know. I went to the restroom. One of the drill sergeants, the one with the bolt cutter was like, do I need to go check the restroom? Did you put it in the restroom? And he started like acting like he was going to walk over there. And I'm like, what are you talking about? So he actually went and he said, nope, not in the bathroom. During this time, I was talking to a dude there. His name is Noah. I was going to give him a fake name, but no. I don't got time for new names or different names right now. So I was talking to Noah at the time. I don't know. I don't know. I texted him and told him to meet me at the bathroom. I said I got caught with alcohol and I just wanted to talk to him, whatever. So we meet up. And then we're outside the bathroom, not in the bathroom now. I'm like, take this bottle. Take this. Hide it in your flash. Ma mind you, they're the swingers. They're the second shift. So I think they was outside. I think the different floors, scratch that. I think the different floors didn't get to go up to their rooms and stand by their door. I think they did it by floor so they could keep track of everybody. So then they had the people who were at the bottom floor go to the bottom floor, stand outside of it. And then the people upstairs, up top, had to stay stand outside and wait. So he was outside waiting. And I was talking to him. I'm like, take this, take this, hold this. They ain't checked it yet. After they done checking mine, I'll come get it from you. And then we'll do it like that. He was not having no parts. He said, dang, that's messed up. He left. <laughs> he was not having no parts. I can't even blame him. He was not trying to get involved at all. No, he ran back outside so fast and did not turn back. Whatever. So while everybody, all the commotion going on over there, I just went outside and I went to the dumpster. I took the coffee mug with the alcohol in it and I put it in the, I put it in the trash. Like it was empty and I went and set it in the trash so nobody could hear it. I set it in the dumpster. I put my hand in that oak and I set it down and I went back in. Everything was all spick and span. Everything was all good. Had a new respect from Holly for that. Holly's still my dog to this day, but she been my dog before that, and that's why I did that in the first place. They wasn't going to have no proof of hers, and they wasn't going to have no substance in mine because I said it wasn't nothing in it. What you talking about? It's nothing in that. It's nothing in that. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. So everything subsided they moved on to the other room they just let us sit in our room and we sitting in our room after they tell us to go back in our room they take the bottle they close the door our room a mess and we just sitting on top of everything like they just told us to get ready to go to class to go to school and we just sitting there like and this is the time i had one of them 
vapes like i had one of them electric vapes like okay you gotta charge it regardless but i had the one where you had to get the vape juice and fill it up like and fill it up and that's the one i had i'm i was so nervous i threw up like three times i'm hitting the vape like i ain't never hit it before i don't know what's about to happen mind you i'm 20 years old i just got caught with a fifth of henny in my wall locker and i'm in the military i haven't even finished training yet I don't know what's going to happen. I'm like, I'm going to pay somebody a band to take the fall for this. To say that it was theirs and I was holding it for them. I don't know. I was thinking about anything. But I really said the band idea. I said, I don't know what's going to happen, bro. During this time, I'm like, maybe it's not going to be that bad. Maybe multiple people, like, maybe this happened to multiple people. Because, you know, the other company had alcohol lined up, lined up. All I had heard was about me. I didn't hear about anybody else getting caught with any more alcohol. So I'm like, yeah, this probably bad if we the only ones. All my other battle buddies and stuff, I'm like, Barnes, Barnes, you could have let me know something. Barnes, you had alcohol that whole time. You ain't tell me something. Y'all be lit without me. Like, Barnes, dang, next time let me know. Like, people are literally knocking on my door and everything. Like, what's up? Next time let me know something. Like, stopping me in class in the hallway. Like, what's up, Barnes? Like, me and Holly like, bro, we don't want to hear that. Ain't no joking, laughing. This is not a laughing situation, conversation. We finna lose our careers before they even start. And y'all over here cracking jokes about this dang Henny bottle. You about 45, Sharon. <laughs> you could buy your own alcohol. <laughs> I had just gotten to the phase where I can go off base with a battle buddy, like, I could wear my normal clothes. Like, you had to earn those privileges to wear civilian clothes and all that. So I think I had just gotten to the point where I could wear my civilian clothes. I could go off base. I could do this. I could do that. It had just gotten good for me. That day, we had went to class. Our first sergeant, like, he was real, real cool dude. But he liked the head honcho. Like, he come around every now and again. Everybody be like, oh, my gosh, it's first sergeant, first sergeant, first sergeant, first sergeant. Basically, first sergeant came and pulled <laughs> me and Holly out of class. I don't know why. Well, okay. By this time, Anna wasn't included in the, like, consequences and the trouble and anything. Everybody thought she wasn't a part of it. Even though she was the one bringing us alcohol, she wasn't a part of it because they didn't check her uh, coffee mug. Even though she had it in there, they didn't check her coffee mug. It was only me and Holly. So me and Holly was the ones looking at, like, the bad kids, like. And he talking to us. Me and Holly had already came up with a whole plan. We was on a bus ride together. We came up with a whole entire plan of what happened, like, from start to finish. I don't even remember what we lied about, but it was an elaborate lie. Like, that lie was long and elaborate. Like, what I said earlier, like, a vase. I was going to make a honey bottle vase and the flowers in it. And I went and found one online and I showed them. I'm like, look, like, this is what I was trying to make. Like, I thought we seemed pretty convincing. Holly wasn't going for it. But I said, first sergeant believed us. Holly was like, first sergeant was not going for that. So a couple days later, we came back and we came clean. Like, we actually came clean to first sergeant. We told him everything. And he was cool about it. Like, he was like ah anna got it for y'all because he was like how did y'all even get it anna and he was like we did that we did stuff like that but we never got caught like he telling us stories about how they had the brown liquor and the coke bottles how they had the light liquor and the sprite sprite bottles and the water bottles they wasn't going to get caught so it was more of a disappointment in us that we got caught especially because it was us and we actually was cool with first sergeant like we saw him we like what up first sergeant? it was like that type of relationship like a favorite teacher and a favorite student relationship with us and first sergeant so he was more disappointed that we got caught and he telling us what we could have did what could have went better we like yeah we was gonna put it in the ceiling like da, da, da. like <laughs> he just like yeah they're not checking the ceilings like he cool as a mug and mind you a lot of people started having that attitude towards the drill sergeant i wish i could remember his name i couldn't remember it even if i wanted to black dude real skinny real cool i'm saying it to y'all like y'all gonna be like oh it was it was but anyway, black dude, real skinny, real cool. You can never really, like, read him. You, he barely smiled, but he came up to me, and he just, like, had his hands behind his back. He just, like.
didn't expect you to be the one to get caught. So turned around, walked away. <laughs> I'm just like, I wasn't mad. Like I had to get disciplined. Holly had to get disciplined because of the situation. Like we are at AIT job training. We have alcohol in our rooms. Something's going to have to happen. Plus I'm 20 years old. Something's going to have to happen. But it was more like a, we don't, we don't want you to get in trouble. We on your side. We room for you. Even down to the first sergeant, right? But anyway, that's neither here nor there. It basically blew over. Nobody was on our bus about it. But like a month later, that's when our consequences came. Like super late, a month later. So we had to go through this whole long process with the commander and some more. She came and talked to us. And she like, how old are you? Like she found out I was 20. She was the butthole. She had had a meeting with the whole platoon she had the henny bottle i wish i still had the picture somebody took a picture of it and sent it to me i was looking for this picture i couldn't i couldn't find it. i couldn't find it at all she had the henny bottle up in the meeting it was like this is what y'all do this what we're doing as a company i platoon it's a black woman too and i'm just sitting there like everybody looking at me trying not to laugh because i'm just like bro i got caught with a henny bottle in my wall locker our consequences were pretty steep like I said, the lady was a butthole. She reduced each of our ranks, one rank. So I think Holland was a rank ahead of me. So she became my rank and I got my rank took. So I was a zero after that. I didn't have no um, rank after that. We both was on the orange phase. We could go out base on the weekends. We could wear regular clothes after we came home from school. It's more stuff you can do with that too. But we got all that removed and we're back to the white phase. We got to wear we literally got to wear army attire all the time and we had extra duty for two weeks i'm gonna put some clips of the extra duty up in here too it was like two weeks straight like after school and on the weekends and when we had extra duty on the weekends it would be all day and mind you we would have the substitute teachers the substitute teachers would just be like just go don't be seen i don't want to see you for the rest of the day and we would either go chill in the room we would go somewhere else go eat whatever we would do will be out of sight, out of mind. Some people actually made us scrub like floors, like scrub walls, pick weeds. Like they literally extra duty. We had to, we was on our hands and knees doing work. Like we was doing work. Then other people started getting in trouble, joining on to the extra duty. It was like, it was a time to be alive. When they reduce your rank, they reduce your pay because you get paid by your rank. So yeah, it wasn't all sweet. Don't get me wrong, but we was in the military. They was paying for our food. They was paying for everything. We was just saving for stuff for when we got out of training. Nobody was tripping off that for real. Whatever. That's pretty much all that happened. I don't know how Anna and I ended up falling out. It was some weird stuff where she assumed that I was using her butt plug. Her butt plug. Her butt plug. I promise you, I got stories for days. And I'm just unloading the clip. More story times to come. I'm going to probably start doing polls on my page. So make sure you are subscribed and those post notifications are turned on. Because I'm going to be doing polls to see which story time y'all want to know next. Because I really don't know. Like, when I think about it, I'd be like, I guess this is interesting. But no, this is interesting too. But this kind of interesting. And sometimes they're the same level of interesting to me. So I need to know what y'all think so yeah subscribe like and comment in that order remember if you want it you gotta go and get it straight like that y'all like my nose ring should i do a nose ring haul y'all see this a little flower and this one's a blue one and thank y'all so much for 725 subscribers i love y'all the long way the strong way i really appreciate y'all i think i'm gonna do a get to know me video coming up soon when i hit 800 subscribers i'll do the get to know me video so y'all can get to know me again and yeah check out my story times and my old videos and thanks so much for watching this video i'll see y'all in my next one bye